Hey guys, what's up? This is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today, it's an exciting video. I found an eyeshadow tag that was wandering around. Uh, I saw Ali Glines do it and I thought it was an amazing idea to film it for you guys. You would get a brief idea on which palettes am I using on like daily basis, which is my favorite palette, uh, which is my most colorful palette, but there are a lot more questions to it. But yes, if you're new here, welcome. Eyeshadow is my favorite topic to talk about. In my whole makeup routine, that's my favorite thing to do. And today is an eyeshadow tag video. What else can we get excited about, right? Let's dive right into the video. So the first question was, what's the newest eyeshadow palette in my collection? And uh, in my collection, before this quarantine happened, I think the last palette that I bought was Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette. This palette gives you a lot of options to do like deep dark shadow looks. If you don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you all know who Jackie Aina is, but she made this palette for the women of color. I think she did an amazing job out of it. You have like colorful tones to play with, deep grungy tones to play with, amazing gold tone. All these color works so well together. This is no doubt it, a very favorite of mine. For the second question, it's the oldest palette in my collection and that would be my comfort zone palette from Wet n Wild. When I started my makeup guys, uh, I definitely was not diving into like uh, expensive palettes. I just wanted like makeup just because I, I was just getting into colors and I was getting into like just to look presentable. I just wanted to feel more confident and this was a perfect palette that time. I still remember I used to use this all over my crease uh and like this in the outer corners and that would be my eyeshadow you know uh, but all these colors i think the only color that i've not like used that much is this uh green with sparkles in it rest all the colors i've used and it's a pretty pretty pigmented palette i was wearing this in and out all the time and i still have it in my collection that says a lot the third question was what is the most expensive palette that i own and i do not have a lot of like luxury makeup in my collection so i don't carry dior or charlotte tilbury or natasha denona's if i like any colors in a specific palette i definitely start looking for dupes so that i don't have to spend that much money but i do have high-end palettes out of my collection the most expensive palette that i own is desi and katie's friendcation palette from dose of colors and this palette definitely holds a very special place in my heart uh, my husband gifted me this palette uh, on my birthday uh, when it came and i was so thrilled to get this palette and i and he knows how much i'm into makeup and how much i enjoy doing makeup but i never used to spend that much money in uh, eyeshadow palettes i used to wait for a sale to happen i used to wait for ulta beauty's 50 percent off to happen you know to buy Buy those uh, palettes but when I got that palette I was so so thrilled because I was eyeing it for a long time and when I used to go to Ulta I used to swatch the shimmers and these shimmers are unlike others it'll not be a justice if I don't swatch the I mean it's so creamy it's so lovely how can you say no to this? But I do understand this is a $55 palette and that's the, ex the most expensive uh, palette that I have. Yeah, I did not buy it. My husband bought it for me. So that's a good justification for me to get this palette, but I love this. You can mix and match these shimmers when you put in this eye and it will completely transform your eye look. So this color that you see here is like a purpley blue. If you put that on the red that you see, it would give like a purple uh, eye look. And I remember seeing a video, I don't, I cannot like pinpoint which video was it. I think it was Samantha Ravendall's video. When she explained this palette, I drooled, 
over this palette. Like that's how much I love this palette. The next question is the most affordable palette. And I have a lot of affordable palettes in my collection, but the Wet n Wild palettes would undoubtedly be the most inexpensive palette in my collection. These palettes are of awesome quality. So if you are just diving into makeup, when I was starting into makeup, these were the palettes that was go to. Uh, when modern renaissance was all the hype and I couldn't afford it, I didn't want to spend like 42 bucks on a palette. Uh, my go-to was Wet n Wild's Rosé in the air because that was a dead-on dupe. The same when Soft Glam palette came, I really thought that palette spoke to me because I am a person who would wear bronzy tones all over my eyes any time of the year. And uh, when I saw Wet n Wild's Glamour Squad, this is my go-to palette that I travel with. Even now, if I'm going for like a vacation for a week or something, this is my go-to palette and I, I still love all these colors. But yeah, Wet n Wild palettes are the most inexpensive palette in my collection. The next question is my everyday palette. I'm more of a warm tone person, guys. So I love warm tone on my eyes. And my everyday palette is Milani's Pure Passion. What's the story with this, guys? Is it getting out of stock? Are they discontinuing this palette? I don't know, but I love this palette. Uh, this and this on the outer corners, this in the crease, they have beautiful shimmers to put all over the eyelids. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm basically going for like a brown tone look or a bronzy look or a simple look. And this does the job for me. If I'm looking for like a pinky tone, this seems very light, but it shows beautifully on my skin. If you are a brown tone lover, I think you really like this palette. If you can find this anywhere, go snatch it. It's beautiful quality. The colors blend together easily um, and definitely a must have in the collection. The next question is the most colorful palette. I'm not a person who uses a lot of color on my eyes but out of the palettes that I have the moon dust palette uh, by urban decay is the most colorful palette that I own and all of them are shimmer glitters and that was my main aim when I got this palette because I have so many neutral colors in my collection I just wanted glitter toppers or I want just shimmers which are colorful that I can just dab it on my eye and can transform the look all together and uh, that's the main reason why I got that. And I did not pay a full price for Moondust palette. I think I got this, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I got this from TJ Maxx and it was for $10. And I was like, I snatched it from the aisle. But I'm not a person who wears colors on a day-to-day -day basis. But for once in a while time, if I'm wearing colors, I'm definitely going on to that palette and I don't want to pay full price for that palette. So I was either waiting for a sale to happen and I think I got a damn good deal on this palette. Right guys? So for the next question, what is the smallest palette that you own in the collection? And my smallest palette are again these Wet n Wild palettes. I definitely didn't want to repeat my options uh, for these questions, but this is the smallest palette that I own in my collection. I have ordered the bite size eyeshadow uh, from e.l.f. If I would have gotten it in the mail, I would have definitely showed that as the smallest palette that I own, but I've not got it as yet, so I'm, I'm not counting that in. I've heard nothing but good things about that palette, so I'm pretty excited about that. The next question is the largest palette that I own, and uh, it's definitely the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the first palette. I really like this palette. The options that she's put in this palette, I think she put her heart and soul in this palette. I really like all the colors uh, that she chose because I'm a warm tone lover. This is right up my alley. If I'm putting colors, I'm definitely putting more on the red side or purpley side. And all those things are covered here, you know, golden tones, red tones, purple tones, green tones. You would definitely see a video coming up. If it is already up on the channel, uh, I'll link it down below. But it was a very special video for me when I use this palette. Yeah, I'm diving off the question squirrel, right? <laughs> the next question is the palette that gives you the best memory and it is undoubtedly Urban Decay's Born to Run palette. Whenever I've traveled, I mainly take this palette. When I open this palette, it just reminds me of holidays. 
it reminds me the time that I've spent when I went to Australia I took this palette when I went to India I took this palette so it's all happy memories and occasion that I remember when I don't break this <laughs> I'll be super mad but I've done looks with this on my sister I've worn this in so many occasions whenever I'm traveling to India back in my hometown I'm definitely attending a lot of functions and festivals and all those things have been associated with this palette and that's why this holds the biggest memory in the collection. The next question is worth the hype and I think uh, Dose of Colors Frankation palette definitely uh, was worth the hype. I remember so many videos coming out when this palette was launched and so true guys and so 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 worth it you cannot go wrong with that palette because if you want colors in the palette if you want like basic everyday look with that palette if you want a smoky or a grungy look with that palette everything can be achieved with that palette definitely worth the money and worth the hype as per my opinion so the next question was what is not worth the hype and it's not that i don't like this palette because i really do but when this came, uh, and this is Colourpop's Yes Please palette, uh, when this came, I was over the moon jumping <laughs> because this was like a dupe for Natasha Denona's Sunset palette and I was like, oh my god, an affordable palette that I can own, uh, which is right up my alley because it's full of warm tones but now if you ask me it's very rare that i dab into this palette and i think it's just because of the color selection but even now when i look at that natasha denona sunset palette i'm happy that i did not go with that palette and i went with this palette because i can achieve all the looks that i can see getting achieved from that palette but i can like put this into my eyes and i can get the same looks out of it in my opinion definitely not worth the hype right now but nonetheless the quality of this eyeshadow palette is amazing i would recommend colourpop palette to any person if you are a starter a person who loves makeup or even if you are an expert i think they can never go wrong with their eyeshadow palettes and they have thousands of options to choose from so if you are looking for any eyeshadow palette and if there's any color scheme that speaks to you, definitely go to uh, Colourpop's website and you'll find a palette for you. So the next question is a favorite palette from the favorite brand. Me being a makeup lover, I have eyed Anastasia Beverly Hills for the longest time that I know. And uh, out of which I was waiting for the perfect palette to launch so that I can invest my money and buy that. For me, it's definitely an investment, I would say, but what an investment, guys. It's Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina palette. There is no shade in this palette that I don't like. There's always been a palette where I'm like, oh, this shade is not for me. This shade is too light for me. So I'm not going to use that, but I can use the rest. But here in this palette, I think it covers all the colors that I love. And I'm not a person that puts color on the eyes. But these are all colorful shades, but muted. And there's not a eyeshadow look that I've created that I've not liked from this palette. I have loved each and every color. I was, I was scared to put Supreme on my eyes, the pink color. But I think it's an outstanding collection. Uh, that Jackie has put out with Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is a limited edition uh, palette guys so you can still find it on Anastasia's website and this is uh, right now at a sale price of $31. I'll definitely leave that in the link below. If you're looking for an eyeshadow palette and you've not got this earlier, what are you waiting for guys? Go, but after this video, okay? <laughs> the most used palette in my collection. I am a person who always keeps rotating my palettes month-wise or season-wise. So I'm definitely dabbing into, I'm not wasting any of my eyeshadow palettes. And that's why you see a lot of old palettes also in my collection. But the most used eyeshadow palette, because I'm a person who puts a lot of shimmer on the eyelid. And my go-to shimmer palette for me is BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. And that is my most used palette. Why I say 
is because I think this was like my second bought palette after that Wet n Wild's uh, Comfort Zone palette. But I love this palette for the shimmers that it has. And even now, if I'm just dabbing bronzer on my crease, or if I'm just putting any brown or any red all over the eye, and I pop any one of the shimmer that is in the palette, it is such great quality. I would never get rid of this palette because of the quality of the shimmer in this palette. There's a pinky shimmer, there's like golden shimmers, there's bronzy tones. Uh, she's put like four highlights. I think I can only use this highlight on my face, but I put all of this on my eyes and it looks amazing. This is a discontinued palette, so I don't know whether you will be able to find it, but if I find a link, I'll definitely put it down. Uh, but if you ask me, this would be my most used palette in the collection. And that wraps our video, guys. This was a very, very fun tag for me to do just because I love my eyeshadows and I love playing with my eye makeup. If you guys have any tag recommendation, definitely leave down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. And if you're new here, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.